Hi everyone. Uh, I trust you're having a good half term if you're a teacher or you've got kids that you're enjoying spending time together at the moment, uh, that you're having a restful time if you're taking a break. If not, if you're still in work, if you've only got kids around while you're trying to work, I pray that you'll have a, a blessed week, whatever's going on. We're just going to take a moment today to reflect on God's word together and think about what it means for our lives as we seek to live as God's people today. We've been working through the, the book of Psalms. We've reached Psalm 128 and it gives us a really beautiful picture of what it means to be a family for God. Last week uh, we saw in Psalm 127 the idea of children being a blessing and this psalm's going to build on it. So let's hear its words together and then reflect and consider what it's telling us today. Psalm 128 is a song of a sense, and it says this. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in obedience to him. You will eat the fruit of your labour. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Yes, this will be the blessing for the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. Peace be on Israel. Amen. This psalm speaks of God's blessing. And you'll see in those sort of first few verses, the first four verses, how it moves from the individual, think about the, the man who lives for God, to the wider family, we see that it seeks blessings for all from the Lord. And the key factor is to think about in those first few verses. It's the person who is living for God. We see the idea of fearing God, living for him, being obedient to him, being one of his people. The psalm isn't saying that everything's going to be OK for, for everyone. It's not saying that if you live for the Lord, all of these things are going to happen. Instead, it's pointing really to the picture that if you fear God, if you live for him, it's going to give you the right perspective, that you are going to see your family as a blessing from God, that you are going to appreciate the things that you have and eat the fruits of your labour at the table, that we will know that God is in all of those things and that he has blessed us. In those last few verses, then, we see a really great picture of prayer as the psalmist sort of works through and prays for blessing on all these different things, there's a, a blessing on the, the individual and, and their house and their home. We see them praying for the city of Jerusalem in the psalm, but, but we could be following that and praying for our local area. And ultimately, we see the psalmist praying for the family, but also all of Israel, that they will be blessed. The idea of seeing your children's children is a, a long life that's blessed, but ultimately they want peace to be on God's people, on his collective people together. So let's follow this pattern and pray to the God who we should be fearing, who gives us so very much. Heavenly Father, we, we come before you this morning, Lord, today, and we thank you for all of the things that you give us, the many blessings that you bestow on us. Lord, we pray that we would have that right outlook, that we'd be those who seek to live in fear for you and ultimately see all that you give us as a blessing, whether, whether things are good, whether things are bad, whether we're struggling, whether we have a little or we have a lot, that, Lord, we will be grateful in those things for your hand on our lives. Lord, help us to be those who seek to bless others. Pray, we pray for your church and we pray for our town, uh, Lord, that you would bless those and that you would call many people back to this right relationship uh, of living in obedience and understanding and knowing who you are, we pray, Lord God. Amen.